students across central Illinois are in back-to-school mode, stocking the kids up before classes start. But students aren't the only ones who power shop. Matt Metcalf joins us for tonight's From the Vault. Hey, Paul. Children have their rituals before school starts, and comedians have their rituals before their shows start. For comedian Red Skelton, his was shopping local. Red Skelton teamed up with the likes of Lucille Ball and other comedies, comedians rather, in his 65-year comedy career. He did vaudeville, radio, and was best known for The Red Skelton Show, which aired here on CBS, where he made characters like Freddie the Freeloader famous. So when Skelton came to perform in Danville, he was met by crowds and smiles. Larry Meyer has that from The Vault, 1988. Another day in the life of 75-year-old Red Skelton. Video camera and unlit cigar in hand, meeting his fans. I am Red Skelton. I knew it was him. I've seen him walk. Nice to have you in Danville. He continually finds ways to make people laugh, but not as himself as one of his many characters, like Clem Cadiddlehopper or Freddie Freeloader. Oh, he I just had a narrow escape. A guy offered me a job. <laughs> it's old-fashioned, clean comedy. There are no short shortcuts and no four-letter words. I would rather for the audience to say, boy, he sure is hokey, rather than a year from now saying, who was the guy who was here last year that told all the dirty jokes? There's still plenty of material that he's constantly updating. He says, uh, my mother-in-law, he says, uh, she's mean. I mean, really mean. She used to rent her daughter out as a speed bump, you know. <laughs> And said she had a job training pit bulls, but she had to quit because the dogs were afraid of her. <laughs> After meeting with reporters, Red Skelton did something that few stars of his caliber would even think about. He came here in person to buy supplies for his show. <laughs> This has become a pre-show ritual. No publicists or agents, bodyguards or secretaries, just They're Red Skelton shopping. Okay, right, nice. now where's the brooms and things? Right straight right. back, about three aisles. Wait, wait, wait. He buys new props for every show because, he says, he doesn't want to carry them on the plane. And he wants to meet people. Oh, oh I'm fine. <laughs> so nice where's to see you. Uh, I said, you said really Red Skelton? I didn't believe it. Red Skelton still does 75 shows a year. He still gets up at 5.30 every morning, and he still makes people laugh. No. The early bird gets the good jokes. Now, Skelton gave other comedians their start. Johnny Carson was a writer for his show. He was inducted into the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame in 1989. Skelton died in 1997 at the age of 84. It's nice to still be performing uh, at that age and still be doing it so well. Yeah, and to, and to get such a warm welcome here in central Illinois. Yeah, probably anywhere, especially yeah. if you stop in the local Kmart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got to get your broom. Uh, I guess you do. <laughs> All right, Matt, thanks.